Well, Luke, just before we actually get into the Island Wales game, we are just going to touch on Jamie Heaseth's retirement. I, I think it's been on the cards for a while, but yeah. you could tell by the amount of uh, kind of praise he was getting and support from his ex teammates. Uh, you know how big a part he did play in Irish rugby over the last few years. Yeah, I mean, I think he played a huge role, uh, and Alan will have played with a few guys who were probably on par. I mean, I think. I mean, he's probably Ireland's most decorated player, I think, at this stage. And, um, I mean, that's an incredible achievement. I think he's a guy who teammates really, really love playing with. I love playing with the guy. He was a fella who always delivered in the big games for me. Um, the highlight, probably, that, that Stuart Hogg tackled to win us the, the Six Nations in 2015. And that kind of tells you everything you need to know about the guy. Everyone else was kind of checked off, saying, look, we've won the game comfortably. That doesn't really matter in the grand scheme. But... Jamie was a details guy, and uh, no surprise to me that when everyone else had stopped, he was still thinking, he was still working hard. Um, and I think he delivered every day on that, and that's why in those big moments he was able to step up and, and play such a vital role. Alan, do you think that Jamie got the maybe overall respect or praise that he deserved? Because I know there was certain parts of the Irish fan base that never really warmed to him as they did maybe in O'Connor and O'Driscoll. Um, I don't think he got the praise that he deserves. Um, I think his level of consistency was phenomenal. I played against him many times, played with him a couple of times for Ireland. I was in a lot of training camps with him. <clears throat> Incredibly talented. Um, probably didn't kind of bust onto the scene and, 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 you know, maybe in some ways didn't probably do hugely dramatic things early on, um, like a Drico, like an yeah. O'Connell <laughs> presence, like a or Rod Kick or something. <laughs> you know, but you're talking about yeah. iconic guys yeah. who get a lot of attention or praise. Yeah. Um, so unassuming, probably at the start, I remember my first game against him, Munster Leinster, in, in, down in Irish Independent Park in 2005 or six, maybe 2005 or six, and I'd heard about him, um, but I thought he just stepped up got into one of those derby matches and even though we ended up winning the game convincingly that day he was I just noticed something about him that this guy was a player and in the return fixture he was dominant the Leinster got you know won that fixture back in the RDS a couple of months later and I just watching him and and, and sometimes you're kind of figuring out wh how much he's doing what's he doing but then when you look back at the game and you analyze the amount of stuff he's doing and the intelligence as well yeah. And I always remember from playing, great number eights have to be intelligent. Anthony Foley, for me, when I went to join Shannon when I was young, I always looked up to Axel. He's just this calming influence. He was just your perfect number eight. Um, and he was outstanding leader and just really intelligent. And Jamie was like that. He was just intelligent in the right place at the right time, could, could score tries. Um, and was a big player. He was just on the go all the time during the game. So he's had a remarkable career. It's it's a really really fantastic career that he's have he's had. And it's just unfortunate that the guy who never got injured before that yeah. injury coincidentally yeah. Yeah. has Luke, taken him out early. Well, you know, from your own perspective as well, obviously you had to hang up your boots early because of injury. What will Jamie be going through today as he kind of processes have it? You know, kind of being cut short in that regard. Yeah, well, I mean, look, I, I think behind the scenes it's probably been coming for a while. Um, I think there's still something kind of uh, final about it um, that can be tough. I know myself, I'd kind of known for maybe a week or so after that match that I was kind of finished. Um, but once you send out the message, you know, that's it. I mean, there's no coming back now. Um, and I think um, it'll be tough for him. You know, I think he's got good family around him. They've, I mean, they've really supported him throughout his career. His folks travel to, to every single game, rugby mad. Um, and obviously his wife as well. I think you know he, he has a good crew around him that has been around him for a long time, um, and I'm sure he'll look to them for, for a bit of help. And what is it is a tough week. I mean, Quinny will know as well. I mean, when you finally decide to do it, yeah, it is it's, it's disappointing. Tough. But geez, he's he's um, he can look back and yeah. and you know I'm not someone for medals who takes out my two Heineken Cup medals yeah. or Celtic League medals or you looks at bring caps. Bring them up a bit, though, Quinny. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> but He's, he's got low so many medals and for any kid starting out you're thinking you want to win don't you we want to win yeah. things you don't you mightn't look at the trophies and the medals and some people maybe do I, d I never did but the kind of it's the memories it's the memories no yeah. it's the memories he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's this stuff is banked in the mind mm. he's achieved so much playing 95 times for your country phenomenal um, in a really really competitive kind of area mm. Um, and I say that as someone who maybe was frustrated at times I couldn't get in it for over no, a years. So many quality back row players there. Jamie was ever present yeah. and he became a real leader for the team, didn't he? For Leinster oh, and yeah. for he Ireland. Oh, yeah, he was a huge influence. You remember when Declan yeah. Kidney made him captain over yeah. Drico at one stage? Yeah. No, look, like he, he's a, a guy now, Quinny. I mean, and it's a great. I mean, I, 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 I just think exactly the same as Quinny about this. I think when you look back at your career, 
you know, look, the medals are great. You were successful. That's what you want to do. That's fine. But the journey, it's all about the journey. And Jamie was one of those guys who was on the journey every day. It's why his teammates told him he trained every single day, trained really well. He looked for all the edges you could get the right way. And he was great to play with. And he stood up. But I think it was because of all the train load, because he was a details guy all the time. That's why he was able to be in the team for so long. And what, as Quinny says, an area where Ireland have always been really good and have yeah, had loads you, of you talents. judge people on performances yeah. and consistency in, in, in his game. Um, in the 2007 World Cup, I don't know, were you, were you training I got, that? I got canned. I, mean, he, I was training no, but that, all right. No, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. He got canned as well. Keen mm. Healy got canned yeah. and, and they weren't, they weren't selected. And I just remember, I remember him driving off and I had a chat with him. And um, I actually said to him, and I don't know, he probably doesn't even remember this, but I said, I guarantee you, you'll, you'll get tons and tons of caps. Like, you'll get so much, you're going to have a massive future ahead of you. And, and he was unlucky not to be picked. Um, I was, like, so fortunate, and, and I was, like, so happy to be going, getting selected. Now, getting playing in the whole thing is, the, is history. <laughs> I was one of the, the famous ones that didn't get to play. Mm. But he just, he had this kind of, um, which I, I, you have to admire in any sports person, that kind of, positive attitude yeah. who and nothing really phased him did he i watched him playing for you guys in leinster down the south of france and he just kind of go out with a smile on his face and just start performing and being involved in big moments and games and that's that's what kind of stands out for me it's it's the consistency and the ability to just front up time after time after time and uh he's had a remarkable career